Hey everyone, just a quick coding challenge here. So we're going to be coding Fibonacci in Python 3 using recursion. Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers where a number is the sum of the two numbers that came before it. And the sequence's first digits are 0 and 1. So we have here 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and so on. So what we see here is we have to declare that the first two digits are 0 and 1 first so we can actually start the sequence. So we have this digit here, which is the sum of 1 plus 0. This is 1 plus 1. This is 1 plus 2. This is 2 plus 3. And then there's 5 plus 8. And so on. Note that the, uh, the 0 is usually not mentioned in a lot of cases where people talk about Fibonacci. We're going to make a function Fibonacci that takes in number i, which stands for the index. So if it's 0, it'll return to us 0. If it's 1, it'll return to us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So we have to take into account that the first two digits are 0 and 1 if the index is 0 and 1. So if i is equal to 0, then you return a 0. Else if i is equal to 1, return a 1. Else, the other rule is return the sum of the two digits that came before it, which is simply Fibonacci index minus 2 plus Fibonacci index minus 1. So if the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then we return i minus 2, which is 2, plus i minus 1, which is 3, 5. So let's test this out. Print Fibonacci 5. So we get 5 is the 5. Let's try a different digit. So 7. Which should give us 13, hopefully. Yep, 13. Let's try 9. Hopefully it will give us 34. Okay. Let's put this into a for loop to, to do better testing, more rigorous testing. So we see here it's 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. You can add a bit more. Yeah, so looks like it's working. As you can see here, it's very simple to make. And the way that recursion works is it simply just calls itself until it hits one of these conditions, which just stops the whole process. Otherwise, it'll keep going forever. So that's another thing you got to watch out for when you're coding recursions is make sure you have these stopping conditions. Um, that's it for now. Hopefully you learned something from this. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to code anything else. Thanks for watching. Until next time.